Welcome to week 27 of the Happy Stitch project. This week we're going to learn trellis stitch. I've got a space that's big enough just down there. So I've got some lovely blue thread, three strands and I've tied a knot in the end. Trim the excess. Right, so trellis stitch basically does what it says on the tin. It looks like some trellis. Um, so what we're going to do is going to start by stitching um, some vertical lines here. Now, I'm just doing this by eye. If you want, you can draw them on. It's entirely up to you. Make sure you draw them on with something that you can um, get rid of, though, because you don't want to see the lines behind it. So use something like an air erasable pen or a water one or one of those clever ones that you can um, remove with a hairdryer, which I've never actually tried. Um, but yeah, something that where it'll disappear because you don't want to have any of it visible behind that. So I've got four lines. And then I'm going to do the same thing going horizontally. So I'm just going to work out where I need to start. You'll see that I've tried to keep them the same distance apart. And with these horizontal ones, I'm going to do the same as well. Um, so if you haven't got any room on hoop, you could just try it on something new. Um, you just need a little bit of space, really. <laughs> Which I haven't got in this hoop. I think I said earlier um, in one of the videos, I don't know why I picked a five inch hoop to do a whole year's project on. What was I thinking? Anyway, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Good job I've got room for this one. Okay, so we've got our grid, okay, and you can just see that I've put those horizontal stitches straight over the top. There wasn't any weaving in or out or anything, that's a different stitch. Um, so what we need to do now is secure them in place. So I've just come up in the inside square at the bottom there and I'm doing a little tiny stitch over the diagonal. So you can see I've come up in the next square along, going over the top where those um, threads meet and just putting that stitch diagonally over the top and that will keep it nice and secure. So if you wanted to, you could do that in a contrasting colour. Um, I'm just going to go um, in this direction with my little stitches. What I could do if I wanted to is go back along that line and do like a cross over each corner. Um, I kind of like the look of this one really just because I feel like it's hidden but I can imagine in, in some patterns or um, you know in a, depending on what your design is you might want to make a little bit more of a feature of that so if you want to put a cross in then you absolutely can it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to stick to these little diagonals going in one direction for now. Um, whatever you choose if you do choose this one um, not whatever you choose. If you choose a cross, obviously that's a cross. If you're just doing one, you need to make sure that they are going in the same direction, ideally, just because that will make it look a little bit neater. I mean, no one's going to tell you off or anything if you've got one or two going in the wrong direction. Um, so don't be too worried about it or anything, but try and make sure that they all go in that same direction. So to help me do that, I'm starting in the sort of top right corner each time, going diagonally over um, to the bottom left and that's just helping me make sure that they go in the same way direction each time. So it's looking nice, you can see that those stitches over um, the horizontal and vertical lines that we did, they are um, giving a little bit of texture to that. It's quite a nice way um, to fill something in, a, a space. Obviously it needs to be quite blocky I guess just because um, of the nature of the stitch but have a little play around and, and see what you um, see what you think about this stitch because I think it's quite versatile really. Okay so yeah there's my I could do the crosses if I wanted to I mean you could do the crosses like one diagonal in one colour and one diagonal in another if you want to go way out it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to tie off at the back make that nice and secure there. There we go, trim that off, and there we are. It's quite nice, isn't it? Quite a fun, different thing. I hope you enjoy trying this stitch out this week. Mm -hmm.